What's up guys, it's Josh with Project Torture again. We got a third particle system tutorial in the Unreal Engine 4 today. It's gonna be fun. We made some snow one time. We made like a sphere one time and worked with the gravity effects of the uh, particle system editor. Today I'm gonna kinda step into beam style emitters, like where you can make lightning and things like that, but we're gonna do something super, super, super simple because half of this is the material it takes to create it and I wanna walk you through that correctly. So, right click, material. We're gonna name that thing PT underscore M. Now we're gonna jump right into it and like we usually do, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a particle color because that is real important and we need two multiplies. We got an M there and we got an M there and we're gonna go here and we're gonna change it from opaque to translucent and from default lit to unlit and bam, we're done. I'm just playing. We're gonna plug in this multiply to the emissive. We're gonna plug in this multiply to the opacity and that's where we're gonna get started. So the top here is gonna go into the top here and the alpha, which is the bottom, will go into the top of the bottom one here. And here's where we usually use our radial gradient exponential, right? We make ourselves a little dot and we plug it into it, but that's that that's not what we're doing this time. We're gonna look at a plane so we can see it. We need like a beam. We need like a line. We need something uh, that could specify a beam of some sort. So let's get started. Right click, create a texture coordinate. And if you drop the arrow here, you can kind of see what it's doing. Now imagine this being here. Imagine this being right here. And that is not a beam at all. So I mean that's not gonna do it. Hold the number one and then hold the letter M and then plug this here into this multiply and hold your constant value here into the multiply. We click on the constant value here and change it to the number two. And now we'll look at our multiply by dropping this down. And it hasn't changed a bit. You're like, Josh, you're on fire, bro. Like, this is incredible. I mean, just just, just shut up and watch. Okay, but anyway, seriously, type in the word sign. Okay, okay. We'll just go ahead and uh, ex we'll just plug this in and then we'll drag it up and expand it. Now, that's not really what we're looking for, but it's set to the number one. I'm gonna change it to number four. I'm gonna change the coordinate over here. And now, I kind of like where that's going. I kind of like, you know, the red, the, the green, the way it's the gradient there. I can use that We'll right here. We'll, we'll type in the word mask and we'll pull up a component mask and we'll only take the green channel. And what do we got? Oh, you see what's happening. See, we got a little black on the bottom, a little black on the top, a little white in the middle, a little sandwich action. There's nothing wrong with that. We'll drag a wire and type in the word power because we got the power. Power, which is P-O-W-E-R, just for those who don't under, you know, don't know how to do that, like myself. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll put it down like here and you can see it changing. We're gonna change it to the number eight. And all we got a beam. I like that beam. We're gonna plug it in right here. And we're gonna plug it in right here, and it's gonna give you a. It's gonna give you a line. It's gonna give you one line, and it's gonna be fantastic. So we're gonna save it, and we're gonna get out of there, and now we'll start creating the particle system. And it's it's gonna be cake. It's gonna be no problem. Right click particle system. We'll name it PT because that's what we want. And we're gonna write. We're gonna go in here and. Not really what we want there, right? So right, right click here and type data. Now instead of like GPU sprites that we've done a couple times, click on beam data here. And it's broken, which is fantastic. We're gonna go to required and we're gonna go right here and we're gonna select the material that we created, which is PT underscore M. I found it, I hope you can find it. And now it's still broken, which is even more fantastic. And we are gonna go back to the beam data. And instead of target, let's set that thing to distance. And let's see what it's doing. Okay, whatever it is doing, it's wrong. I can promise you that. Go down to interpolation points. Instead of zero, I'm gonna set this way up, 150. And now I got this thing kind of gliding from one side to the other. There's our beam. We did that. We made it happen. We did it out of nothing. It doesn't even matter. We're gonna scroll down. Now, if you see the distance tab here, you can you can click down here and it'll be set to 25. Let's go ahead and set that to 50. Mm-hmm, make it a little longer, just a little longer. Ain't nothing wrong with something being a little longer. We're gonna drag down to the, or scroll down to the taper. There'll be a taper factor, which will have a constant value, and the taper scale, which will be a constant value. I'm gonna set this to 0.1, and I'm gonna set this one to 0.5, and you're not gonna see anything happen. And I'm gonna tell you why, is because the taper method is set to none, and it needs to be set to full. And now we got a line. It's a line, it works, it's lining up, it's crazy. I, I dig it, I dig it. We're just gonna change the color of that thing cause, cause you know, cause I like it. Now, if you go to your collar over life node, it has it has tons of things you can go here. If you drop down, you can drop down the curve and you'll see the points. You'll have two points here and this is your red, green, and blue. They're all set to one, which is white. And here's our second channel. And uh, let's change the green and both of these to the number five. I'll take that one to number five, two times. Then we got this green beam of light, and there we go. We can go ahead and set our fixed bounds. Like I said, this was a real quick. I just wanted to show you guys what you can do with beam style emitters with that type of material we use. So now, if we go out to our world and let's just drag in one of our uh, drag in one of our particle systems here to see if it uh, see if it works out here. See if it ain't completely broken. And let's drag it up here out of the ground because that's not going to do it. And we see our beam of light there, and it's it's moving from left to right just like it was in the editor. I can make a whole bunch of them. You're just holding alt and clicking like that. But anyway, that's pretty much all that it takes to create something that simple. Like I said, a half of it definitely was the material we had to create. And different people make this different ways, and that's fine, but this is how I would create it. And then look what we got. We got a, we got a bunch of lines, and they're all happening, and 
we can look at them and we can just feel good about it. We can feel great about it. And uh, that's it, guys. Simple tutorial. I hope you guys learned just a little bit more about Cascade and a little bit about materials as well. But anyway, um, I will be back in just a few days and we'll have more and more and more tutorials. So stay in touch. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, and I'll get with you soon. Bye.